Hi guys, I'm going to be reading this uh, little short book called um, Little Miss Hug and Penny the Dog. I believe it is sponsored by a company called Peter Alexander, if you know what it is. And now let's get, just get this show on the road. Okay, Little Miss Hug and Dog. Penny is a dog. A dog who lives in a very comfortable kennel. A dog with a, a long body and short legs. The problem was the pe that Penny wanted to be a dog with a short body and long legs. Oh dear. Penny's short legs me meant that life was just not sh how she she want when she walked through a puddle. She got she got a wet tummy, unlike other dogs. She could not keep up with other dogs when they went out chasing cars. I'd say that was forever. And when she dug a hole to bury her bone, she could not get out. Or Penny. No, stop. Penny lived next door to Little Miss Hug. And one day, when she was feeling hot, Particularly a set sad, she, she met a little Miss Hug outside her front gate. Why such a long face? asked little Miss Hug. More like a long body, sighed Penny miserably. More uh, and short legs, she landed even more miserably. Why, why there's, why there's nothing wrong with your legs, said little Miss Hug, giving her a hug. But my legs are shorter than all the other dogs. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with being different, said little Miss Hug. It, it, our, it's our difference that make us special. Come with me and I'll show you. And that is just what Little Miss Hug did. They went for a walk and on their walk they met Mr. Tickle. Mr. Tickle was in trouble. His long arms were all tangled up in his bicycle. N now Mr. Tickle's arms can be um a nuisance. Oh, I don't know. A uh, nuisance. Nuisance. No. Uh, that's what I thought it was. Said little Miss Hug, but he wouldn't change. So for the world because without his long arms he could he couldn't be the expert tickler that he is. Could you listen to this? Ab absolute absolutely said Mr Tickle and and tick and tickled tickled him. <laughs> I don't think that was how it was spelled tickle, but... I don't know. Now, Mr. Greedy's tummy can be nuisant, but it said a little Miss Hug, but he wouldn't change the way he is because without his large tummy, 
he would he wouldn't be able to eat as much as much as he wants to. Isn't that right, Mr. Greedy? Absolutely, said Mr. Greedy. Let's go and buy ice cream. He's doing that thing. Um, and then, and then they met Mr. Nosy. My, Mr. Nosy was in trouble. No, now, Mr. Nosy, nose can be a, be a nuisance, but he wouldn't change if for anything because then he wouldn't be able to stick his nose in everyone's business. Do you agree, Mr. Nosy? Mr. Nosy nodded his head. Clank, clank. But what is good about being short? asked Penny. So little Miss Hug took Penny to meet Mrs. Small, who is the smallest person in the world, which which makes him the shortest person in the world. There are lots of things that are good about being short, explained Mr. Small. If for, for you, things won't, we never, we never have to worry about pumpkin or heads. Beds are never too short for us. It's funny. And we always have plenty of legs room for um, aeroplanes. I guess that is all good, said Penny. I'm really done. Uh, let's see. Importantly, con continued Mr. Small. Everyone thinks you are cute. I am cute, asked Penny in am amazement. Yes, you are, said Mr. Small, and little Miss Hug in a new him. Uh, um, well, I never, well, I never said Penny and that that it, as they say um said mr small is the long and short of it even and even penny had to laugh like that that's the end <laughs>